Blackwood Manor. The Haunting of Blackwood Manor. In the quiet countryside lies Blackwood Manor, an ancient estate known for its sinister past and eerie tales. Decades ago, the Blackwood family met a tragic end, and since then the manor has been abandoned, considered cursed by the locals. But one group of thrill seekers, lured by the stories, couldn't resist the temptation to explore the haunted mansion. Among the brave souls were four friends, Emily, the adventurous and skeptical one, Alex, the curious historian, Sarah, the spiritual believer, and Jake, the skeptic trying to prove that ghosts don't exist. On a chilling autumn night, they arrived at the foreboding Blackwood Manor, the full moon casting ominous shadows over the crumbling structure. As they stepped through the creaking front door, the atmosphere turned oppressive and the air seemed to thicken with unease. The first night was relatively calm, but unsettling occurrences soon began to unfold. They heard footsteps in the empty hallways, doors slamming shut on their own, and chilling whispers that echoed through the corridors. Every now and then, they caught glimpses of ghostly figures lurking in the corners of their vision, disappearing as soon as they tried to focus on them. Sarah, the spiritual believer, insisted that the spirits of the Blackwood family were restless and sought to communicate with the living. She began conducting seances in the grand parlor, inviting the ghosts to speak. Each session grew more intense as the spirits' messages became more malevolent and cryptic. As tensions grew within the group, they started to experience disturbing nightmares. In their dreams, the spirits would manifest and torment them, leaving them in a state of constant fear and exhaustion. One evening, during a particularly ominous thunderstorm, they discovered a hidden passage in the mansion's basement. The passage led to a long-forgotten chamber filled with ancient artifacts, dusty books and a decrepit family portrait that seemed to watch them with lifeless eyes. Alex, the historian, delved into the history of the Blackwood family and the reasons behind their haunting. He uncovered a horrifying secret. The Blackwoods had practiced dark rituals and made a pact with a malevolent entity in exchange for wealth and power. The entity had consumed their souls, leaving them trapped in perpetual torment. Fueled by their desire to free the Blackwood spirits, the group resolved to break the curse. They devised a plan to perform a ritual to banish the malevolent entity back to the shadows. The night of the ritual arrived, and the air crackled with energy as they gathered in the haunted parlor. Candles flickered, and the atmosphere grew suffocating. Sarah began chanting incantations, and a low, haunting hum filled the room. The spirits of the Blackwood family manifested, their faces twisted in anguish and rage. But the ritual did not go as planned. The malevolent entity fought back with furious intensity, unleashing a torrent of dark energy that engulfed the room. The walls shook and the very foundation of the manor seemed to groan in agony. In a desperate attempt to contain the malevolence, the group sacrificed themselves, offering their own life force to bind the entity once more. The spirits of the Blackwood family were finally free, but the cost was great. As dawn broke, the storm cleared, and Blackwood Manor stood silent once more, its malevolence finally laid to rest. The stories of its haunting, however, continued to echo through generations, a chilling reminder of the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. And so Blackwood Manor remained, a decrepit monument to a past filled with darkness and despair. Only the bravest dared approach its decaying facade, and those who did felt an eerie chill run down their spine as if the malevolence still lingered, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to awaken its ancient curse.